In the previous video, we have talked about how to create color effects. Today, we will use them to create two-dimensional color effects, which you can use for the video walls, like the one behind me. So this is a workspace which we use for the wall which was behind me at the beginning. First of all, let's check mapping. And as you can see, I have here several lines already and the mapping is done correctly. All the outputs are full. That's fine. And I have here several samples of the two-dimensional color effects, which I want to teach you how to use. So let's start with a new scene and let's add video scene. As you can see, it's empty. And with the right click or with clicking this yellow pencil icon, you get to settings. And this is the video scene editor. Here you can add a new layer and I have here the color effects. See, immediately after I added a new one, I have already this white circle running effect, which is quite nice. So here at the bottom, you have a different settings for the color effects. I have here fill type and we can test all of them. Conical, see, changed, linear, it means from left to right or whatever direction you want or rectangular my favorite so you have this running rectangle and here at the bottom part you can change the direction of each type field type so this is for example the change for the rectangular gradient we can change the direction of the linear one from top to bottom for example this is just the starting position there is no change basically or in the radial you can also use ellipse yeah so this is basically the shape of the color gradient the, the easiest way to change the color is to choose one of the existing ones. so you can choose palette using this button and here you have already some pre-programmed so for example oh nice oh this one so quickly, you can change the effect to a different colors. Quite easy. But you can, of course, start from scratch using this edit palette. And you can check the previous video where we already explained this. So just quickly, I will delete everything and let's create a new keyframe. And let's say you want to, to have the white color in the middle, then the nice combination is using the yellow and uh, let's say red and it can fade out to black it's nice to move the black a little bit so there is actually some empty space at the uh, at the end or the beginning so we can move the color slightly oh that's nice and we know already here you can create a default animation so it's all the same tool you have used before just for the LED segments. The same you are using for the, uh, for the two-dimensional color effects. Yeah, quite nice. You can of course use some quick buttons here, invert direction. This is even better, I think. Very nice. And just press OK and you have here the new color effect ready. Easy. And let's create a new one again we can create video scene with the right button we can click add a new layer containing color effects and uh, as i said my favorite is the rectangle one especially if you rotate it in the 45 degrees and we can edit the palette what's nice for example if you want two different uh, colors to have there you can add a black a little bit here then we can add one more black and let's add a new one I don't know why it is nice with red good and here is the second black and we can create default animation with these oh very nice in the direction or animation yes uh, the question you might want to ask how to make it slower so here you have the duration so you can increase the duration and now it's nice slow color effect 
Again, easy. Especially if you want to use these color effects uh, for LED dance performance, uh, which we use a lot, uh, you will use these uh, color effects in the show. So what we can do, we can drag and drop the effects into the show timeline. And when I play it, I have already, I will just uh, lower the, the fade duration. I have already the effect there. The question you might want to ask, how do I make it slower in the timeline? Well, you can try with the right button to increase the duration of the event in the show. But when I play it, you will see that the speed is the same. It's because it's uh, taking the, the original speed from the bank. So this one. What you can do is to use this relative time. And now you will tell it will start at 0% and end at 100%. So now the whole animation, I mean one step of it, will be played during the duration of the event. So if I make it longer, again, it will be nice low. If you would want to play it, let's say twice, while this event uh, is running, you just increase this to by to two. Now we have, we are playing the animation twice in the timeline. And of course, you can mix the color effects in the timeline as well. So at the bottom, we can add the new one and you can, with the double click, you can edit the alpha channel of the new event. So when I play it, it will slowly fade to a new color effect. Nice. And easy. As you can see, two-dimensional color effects are quite powerful, but easy to use. We use them a lot for LED dance performance, but also for club installations. And now you can use them as well.